Hey, it's Austin here from Make Pop Music. I had the pleasure of doing the demo project for Cubase 13, so I wanna walk you through everything that I did so you can navigate it a little bit easier. Let's dive in and check out the demo project. Let's go over how I have the project laid out so you can navigate it. We have a marker and a tempo track up here. Those are synced so they will always stay towards the top just so you can see where you are in the song. And then we have a folder and a group of our main drums, so kicks, snares, main kind of toms and cymbals. Uh, then you go down, we have a folder and a group track for our aux drums. That's gonna be like extra claps, tambourines, shakers, bongos, any kind of percussion stuff. Then we have a folder and a group for our effects tracks. So these aren't gonna be like synth effects. These are gonna be like risers and hits and kind of ambient noises. Same thing with our bass, we have a folder and a group track. Every folder is gonna have a corresponding group track so I can do things like bus processing and automation, which happens a lot throughout this demo project. Uh, and then we've got the same thing for synths. We've got a folder, we've got a kind of group bus track right here. Same thing with our lead vocals, same thing with these kind of SOS shout vocals, and then same thing with some of these vocal effects over here. Under all of those, those are our main tracks. We have a couple effects channels, these are sends. So we have a reverb send and a delay send that we use on a few of the uh, uh, vocal tracks throughout the song and then we have a couple final group tracks that are big groups so we have all of our drums so that's main drums and the aux drums we have drums and bass so it's main drums aux drums and bass we have the synth and the guitars we didn't use guitars in this song so it's really just a synth bus uh, we have our vocal effects returns and then we have all vocals so that's going to be lead vocals extra vocals vocal effects returns everything like that and then down here i like to do my master bus processing on this little chain down here just so i have some extra flexibility where i I don't have to be doing a ton of automation on Cubase's stock master uh, track that we could have shown at the bottom here. So that is the exact layout. Now that I've shown you that, let's actually dive into the song so I can show you a couple of the really, really cool things that we're doing. We're not going to go over every detail because you can open up this project and you can look at everything, but I want to show you a couple cool things that we did. I also want to mention that if you want to follow along, all you need to do to download this project is go to your Steinberg Download Assistant, click on your Cubase 13 tab where you can download everything for Cubase 13, and then if you scroll down, you're going to see a demo project by Austin Hull. That's me. You can download that, you can open it, and then you'll have access to everything right here. So go ahead and download so you can follow along. Let's start taking a look. Uh, the first thing that I started when I made this song was this kind of like noisy electronic synth. It's just got a little bit of EQ on it, and it is a patch from Retrolog. Again, if I changed any of the presets, and some of these do have some tweaking, if you ever want to save my version of this synth, all you have to do is save this as a new preset, so you can click the save icon. You can do that with all of the synth patches. You can do that with some of my insert chains. So if there's anything in this uh, you know, Cubase template or this Cubase project that you want to save, feel free to do that take everything that you want from it. So we have that as the main synth doing the main chord progression, and then I'm layering that with this extra synth right here from Pad Shop. It's the Synth Corral 1. And what I did for this is I actually use the effects modulator. So this is laid out more like a pad. Little bit of EQ to brighten it. And then I'm using effects modulator to still give me that kind of staccato rhythm that we have with that noisy synth at first. And that's our main chord progression for the verse and the chorus. Let's go ahead and add in some drums and some percussion. So I am using Groove Agent for this, and I've just loaded up some of the uh, samples that you can find in Cubase. Over here, if you go to their loops and samples, I just pulled some out of these various folders. I still have all of the names on them, so if you want to see exactly what we use, this is the Construction Kit 2. Uh, this is the... PC04PK8. You can just type all that in and it'll pull the sample up. Uh, and then I'm using the multi out feature. So if you right click on any pad, you can assign an output. And what that will do is essentially just run one instance of pad shop. But now I have access to the kick. I have access to the snare, any of the alternative percussion that I also have in there. And this allows me to mix the drum kit piece by piece rather than just mixing one big groove agent insert. So I have one instance of groove agent, but on this kick, I have quite a bit of processing. We're using the brand new black valve. We're using the EQ P1A, and then we're doing some gating. The sounds were really, really great out of the actual box, but what I wanted to do was just make them a little bit more dry. So here's kind of what the kick and the snare sounded like straight out of Cubase. 
And then with my processing, I'm going to add everything back in, black valve EQP1A and gate on the kick, and then just some EQ, some tube compression, and a little bit of room on the snare. Uh, and then other than that, I'm using a lot of this brand new side channel right here just because it allows me to flip my channels on and off. Uh, it allows me to kind of flip through inserts. It's just really nice to ride this fader. I love this new feature that they have in Cubase 13. So I leave that up pretty much all the time. And then here is the kick and snare that we get now. And then we've got some toms and some cymbals. Again, just another instance of Groove Agent. We've used some multi-out tracking here as well. We've got that clap happening every like third or fourth snare. And then other than that, we're really just laying in a bass line and this kind of gives us the meat and the potatoes of this verse. So we're using Halley and Sonic. We're using the multi-electric bass. It's basically just an electric kind of like P bass or J bass. Uh, and out of the box, it sounds like this. We're doing some compression and some saturation with Quadrifuzz. And then I actually duplicated that track. This is something that I do a lot. I duplicate it and then I'll run a really heavy instance of Quadrifuzz doing a lot more saturation. And then I'll kind of filter it out so I can use this as kind of like a parallel chain to just add some mid and some bite. It really just helps that bass stand out on small speakers. So you'll find little tidbits like that all throughout this demo project. That's kind of the meat and the potatoes for the verse. Then we just start layering things like this threshold pad from Halley and Sonic. We'll layer this little synth lead that we have from Halley and Sonic, and it gives us this sound. And there are a lot of inserts used on these chains. So when you're going through the demo project, make sure that you look at the actual patch itself, but also what all of these things are doing, because there's a lot of really cool things that you can pull from with those. Uh, and they're cool presets that you could save for future use. Once we do that, we kind of go onto a pre-chorus where we're just swapping up the chord progression. We just have the bass and the drums doing something similar with different notes. And then the main synth for this part is a brass that we have. It's a serious brass from Halley and Sonic. And I'm doing quite a bit of processing with Mod Machine to give me this really kind of psychedelic, funky uh, delay. And then we have some reverb and some compression. Other than that, we have a vocal chop that I'll kind of show you a little bit later. And then we go into the chorus where we're going back to the same kind of basic drum rhythm and bass pattern from the verse, but we're layering up these synths a lot more. So the main synths that kind of carry this chorus are the synth brass right here. And these are both from Retro Log. So they're really nice kind of brassy 70s, 80s sounds. And then we're layering this E piano in the background. That's from Halley and Sonic. And then we have these kind of like Mellotron strings also from Halley and Sonic. So now we have a pretty big synth stack for this chorus. Mixed with the bass from earlier. It's doing the same exact notes. I just added a few more in so it kind of picks up the pace of that bass line. And then for drums, we have the drums that we had earlier doing the same thing. And we're also adding all of these tambourines, these shakers, these bongos. These are also from this little kind of like loops and samples section over here. And we just use those just to add a little bit of intensity in there. That's pretty much it for the entire instrumental. We do have some effects tracks right here, just doing some rises and hits. And then other than that, there's just quite a bit of group processing to really give us the dynamics and the sounds that we want on things like the drum group track or the synth group track, uh, just to kind of make sure that we have that last little bit of uh, flexibility when we want to start mixing, especially after we add vocals. So that is the entire instrumental. Uh, the only thing that I could probably show you still is this little outro synth, which is where I just rendered a couple synths together. And what I did is I just chopped it every quarter note at the main tempo. And then what I would do is uh, if you 
double click one three times. Uh, it'll basically bring up this little kind of retiming icon. You can see the little uh, clock next to the cursor. And if you do that, it'll time stretch your audio. So all I did was just chopped it on the actual measure. And then I just dragged it out to however I wanted. And then if you double click this and you go to process, you can go to add process. And once you bring it up, I did a pitch shift and you can see that it starts to pitch shift that entire loop. And that's what really gives you that like weird psychedelic kind of wind down that we have at the very end of this track. And it gives you a cool little effect. So if you want to do that, you could just highlight your layers. You could go to uh, edit, you could go to render, render those out into an audio track. Then you can do that kind of pitch shift and then you can just cut them and retime align them however you want. Not too hard, but it gives you a really, really cool effect. Other than that, let me show you the kind of vocal layout of this. So we have all the lead vocals up here. We gave you male and female vocals on this, so you can kind of pick and choose. Uh, there are male and female vocals for basically every line of the song. So if you want to try mixing with male vocals or mixing with female vocals, have at it. We have the female lead right here. One thing that we did for every single vocal on this was we used a brand new vocal chain uh, plugin that they have in Cubase 13. It's really nice. It basically gives you every feature you would need when you're mixing vocals. So you've got things like filters, you've got your pitch correction, you've got a couple different DSers, you've got a couple different EQs, some compressors, and then you even have sin. So you have an imager, which I always use, like some kind of doubler or chorus. You have delay and you have reverb. So every single vocal track is going to have a different kind of uh, layout for vocal chain on this actual demo project. And if you click up here, you can always access really, really cool presets. So this is basically my philosophy when I mix vocals is cut out the nasty stuff, do a little bit of DSing and a little bit of EQ and compression. And then you can start to add your character with extra compression, saturation. And then once you have all of that and it fits in your mix nicely, then you can add the extra sauce, which is where you get the delays and the reverbs and the imagers. So we have all of that on pretty much every track. And then sometimes we're using these extra sins. So we have a long reverb and a stereo delay. Uh, and those are just down here. So we have Revelation doing some filtering. And for the stereo delay, we just have stereo delay doing a little bit of filtering. And that's pretty much it for every vocal. They're all going to have slightly different settings. Some of them are super effects heavy like this one. I saw you at the bar last night. We've got that really slap back echo. Uh, some of them are a little bit cleaner and just kind of more straightforward. Every time I think of the things that we left behind, I... We've got all of these weird, cool things down here. One, two, three, go. So there's a lot of really cool different vocal chains that you could pull from this demo project. There are presets for some of them, but if there's not, definitely make sure you go in and you pick those out. And then in terms of layout, we kind of let the female vocal be the lead for the verse. And then we let my vocal be the male lead for the chorus. And we gave you just dubs and harmonies for male and female. So again, you can kind of pick and choose and rebalance however you want. So go through and play around with all of these vocals. If you want to tune them, you could always open them up and you could open up very audio. You can tune them more or less than we've already done. Uh, other than that, let me go over this because this is really, really cool. And this is one thing that I did want to highlight. They added the vocoder back into Cubase. This is a feature they used to have years ago in Cubase. And it just it went away for a little while and they finally brought it back. And it's one of my favorite vocoders uh, that you can use. It's super simple. It's really quick to set up. So all you have to do is drag the vocoder plugin on your uh, vocal, and then you're going to hit MIDI external. And then what you're essentially going to do is create a MIDI track that's going to have the notes. And then make sure that you click on your routing and you're sending this to your vocoder. So this is going to tell your vocoder exactly what notes to play. So I'm just playing those synth pads as a vocal, and then I added a little bit of compression and DSing, and then this cloner is a really cool tool to kind of give you that chorus spread. We've got a little vocal reverb down here. We've got these cool little uh, high effects vocal tracks right here that are layered under. Super tuned, super saturated. They just add a nice little bit of grit in the background. And then other than that, if you layer over all of these vocals, you get the lead vocals, you get these effects vocals, and then you get these vocal shouts that are literally just me saying SOS 20 times routed to a group of some processing. This is what you get for the chorus. One, two, Every time I think of the things that we left behind, I start spiraling, you make me lose my mind. SOS. Someone save me from myself. SOS.
And that goes over pretty much every individual aspect. The only other thing that I'll show you is we do have some master bus processing on this. And if you want to save this as a mastering chain or any of our other insert chains, all you have to do is hit this preset management, hit save effects track, and you could save this as, you know, pop mastering or whatever. So my mastering chain is always a similar process. It's kind of a tube compressor just to add a little bit of glue and a little bit of extra saturation and character. Then I'll do some multiband compression just to make sure that nothing really gets out of hand. So we have a little bit of compression in the low mids and in the mids, and we're kind of letting those highs and subs open up a little bit and just kind of give you that nice pop mix. Then we have a little bit of saturation with Magneto. It's barely blended in, but it gives us a nice little bit of kind of like tape sound, which I really, really wanted for this, you know, more kind of 60s, 70s psychedelic rock pop inspired uh, track that we were doing. Then we have a limiter right here just on the Dance Master preset. We've got a brick wall limiter just to make sure that nothing starts truly peaking over, you know, like 0.3 or 0.5. And then other than that, I just use supervision on every single project I ever do just to make sure I'm kind of coming in where I need to commercially. So here's what it sounds like without my mastering. And then when I engage that master, and that goes over every aspect of my demo project for Cubase 13. Again, thank you so much to Steinberg and Cubase for having me. Uh, I always really, really love doing these. I had the pleasure of doing a project for Cubase 12. So if you have Cubase 12 and you want to download that, check that one out. If you upgraded to 13, definitely make sure you download this. Run through all of this. There's a bunch of really, really cool inserts and effects chains. There's a bunch of cool synth presets that you could save that are not going to come stock in Cubase. Uh, and then other than that, you can just kind of get a glimpse into my workflow. Everything that we did for this song was using stock plugins and stock sounds that come in Cubase, all of the samples, presets, loops, all of the, you know, anything like that, any of the inserts and effects, everything was stock Cubase. So if you have Cubase 13 Pro, you can follow along and you can make this as a one for one copy. So if you want to download that again, go to the Steinberg download assistant, where you can go to Cubase 13, scroll down to the bottom and download my demo project. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. I will do my best to pop in here pretty regularly and answer whatever I possibly can. Again, my name's Austin. I'm from Make Pop Music and I really, really appreciate your time. Take care. I'll see you soon. Much love. Peace.